All right. In this video, we are looking at the example on page 20 of the sec uh, chapter one, section three slides. The supply function for a commodity is given by 4P minus 5X equals 120, where P is measured in dollars and X is measured in units of 100. So first we sketch the corresponding supply curve. And then how many units will be marketed when the price is $55? So coming over to our slides, I've already written the equation here and I've got my grid up. I am going to first solve for P. 4P minus 5X equals 120 means that 4P equals 5X plus 120. So P equals 5 fourths X plus 30. OK, so I'm going to say that my units um, on the Y axis are 30. That seems useful here. And so on. OK, so um, I know I've got this point right here. That's my intercept. Um, I think that units of 10 are going to be better. So here we go, that's 30. All right, so four p four five fourths x plus thirty. Yeah, that'll that'll work nicely, probably. Um, if I also do units of ten along the x-axis, then that means that we are going up five for every four we go over. That means we're going back four and down five. Not that we need to worry about that because this is all happening up in this first quadrant. So here, add that point and that point. Should be approximately good. Something like that. There we go. OK, so there's part A. That's our line. Our second question was, how many units will be marketed when the price is $55? So P is the price. So four. So we know the price is $55. And that's five fourths X plus 30. Well. I can subtract 30 from both sides. That gives me 25 equals 5 fourths X. And then I can multiply both sides by 4 fifths. Well, 4 fifths times 5 fourths X is just X. 4 fifths of 25 is 20. X is 20, but remember that in our problem description, we are looking at X is units of 100. So since X is units of 100, that means X equals 20. X equals 20, so um, That's 2,000 uh, 2, units. So there's the answer to be. If you have any questions, let me know. This is going to be my last video for today. We'll pick this up in a couple days.